In today's video, I've got for you a real simple exercise to make sure your eyes are aligned correctly when you're putting, help you start the golf ball more online and effectively hold more putts. Make sure you check out this video. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at my short game area. Today's video, as I mentioned there in the intro, is gonna be a putting one. It's gonna be a really simple exercise to make sure your eyes are aligned correctly and a simple gait exercise once you've done that to make sure you're starting the ball online. If we do these things correctly, we're definitely gonna hold more putts and reduce the amount of three putts we're taking as well. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. All the info for me just come along the bottom of the screen. Right now, we're gonna jump into this one. So we're talking about eye line, a really important thing when you're putting. Now, many golfers, including me, we've stood over the putt, we've maybe used a line and it looks correct from behind, but when we stand over it, it doesn't look correct. It doesn't look like the putter's aligned with the ball. It doesn't like that like the ball's aligned with the cup or maybe our aim point and then we struggle committing to the putt we're trying to hit. Today I'm not going to be using a line on the golf ball. What I want you to do as an exercise is I want you to read the putt. Now I've put a leaf out to the left of the hole at where I think this ball is going to break from. So I think there's a, a good 10 inches outside left lip of break in this 12 foot putt that I'm hitting here. And then what I'm gonna do is I, I'd normally put a tee peg down. I, haven't, I can't put a tee peg into this artificial surface. So I'm just gonna put a bright golf ball. I've got a yellow one here down on my aim line. And I'm gonna do, it's gonna be about two feet ahead of me. Okay. And I'd step back and either plumb bob the shaft. I personally hold the club shaft through the ball, through my aim point and just make sure that intermediate golf ball, which is the yellow one, is actually on my aim line. Now that is actually very good. I'm happy with that. If anything, it's maybe a smidge that way, but pretty close. So what I'm gonna be then doing is setting up to the golf ball I'm gonna be hitting. And I just want you to try and align yourself to this intermediate target. For me, it's this yellow ball. It could be a tee peg. So set yourself to that. Get yourself in a position where you can see that line and then draw your eyes up to your aim point near the hole, which for me is that leaf. And it actually looks like I've got a nice line of my putter, the ball, my intermediate target, and my target by the hole, that leaf. So I'd know that I need to correct my eye line. If I stood too far away from it, they don't look aligned at all. If I stood too close, my eye line was outside, they look wrong. I, a fault I have is my eyes tend to be tilted too much to the right and then again everything doesn't look aligned so it's just a real simple drill of using an intermediate target about two feet in front of you to align over and then get yourself in a position setting up that actually it looks like now the putter is going through the middle of my ball to my intermediate aim point to the uh, aim point near the hole, that leaf. And that looks really well aligned. I feel like I could hit that putt. So I just wanna get myself into that same setup every time, obviously without putting the ball there, but it gives me an indication of how far I should be from the golf ball, how tilted I should be from my hips. And it helps me get my eye line a little square. As I said, a fault of mine is my eyes tend to look too much to the right. Once you've done that as an exercise, and you might wanna do that on a left to right putt, or right to left, try and find a few different, is I'm just gonna ask you to make a gate. And depending on your skill level would depend on how hard you want this gate to be. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of space, a little bit of room here, and then I just tighten up and tighten up. So you're gonna move that middle one away. And I'm gonna go ahead now and see if I can get myself in a position where it looks like I can score a goal between my gate, between my tee pegs, or in my case here, I've got the couple of golf balls, and roll the ball towards my leaf, which is obviously the aim point at the hole. Got chances, ah! Try and get that same spot. That was a good putt. 
Potentially, it's meaning I've slightly underread this because it missed on the low side and it definitely had enough pace. But it's a great one for eye line. It's also going to help me learn how much brake I need to allow. I thought I'd allowed enough there, a good 10 inches, but potentially it's a little bit more. Let me go ahead and hit that again. Big thing is the eye line, making sure that looks correct, that I can actually score the goal between my gate and that's going towards that leaf by the hole. Hit that with a little less pace. Yeah, I'm hitting good putts here. I've just actually got to increase the amount of brake that I'm going to allow. So I had picked a spot that was a good 10 inches outside left lip, but I'm under reading it by maybe two inches. Uh, it's, it's best part of a foot here. And that's a, an, another big part to take is golfers generally do not allow enough brake, enough borrow. And I've just filmed a, a, a video actually on this same line talking about brake increasing on different parts. So I'm going to put a link just here. It's well worth checking out. I need to perhaps take my own advice and start allowing that little bit more break to miss on the high side. I don't get many golfers on a putt like this because it doesn't look that severe apart from being downhill. They'd perhaps be aiming even 10 inches outside the left from a 12 foot putt. But I, even me, I, I underread it there by a couple and you could see it was hitting the low lip. The important bit is that intermediate target to help me get my eye line correct, help me get my setup correct. And then it's a great exercise to put the gate there just to try and score the goal between. If you can start the ball on line, you can start to understand how much break you need. You start hitting the ball at a better pace. Well, they're all the skills you need in putting to start holding more putts and ultimately start taking out those three putts because you're gonna finish nearer the hole. If that video has helped, hit the thumbs up, share it with as many golfers as you can. And as I mentioned at the start, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers, guys. I'll see you next time.